LOA. Matt Ogus checking in. This video is a response to the question, what should I eat at night? It's also a response to the question, should I eat casein protein at night? The answer to this question is, it depends, okay? What you eat at night depends what you ate earlier on in the day. It really depends on what foods you have to eat to make up uh, and hit your target guidelines. If you don't have target guidelines that you're going for in terms of calories, in terms of fruits, vegetables, fiber, in terms of fat, carbs, and protein, well then you need to find out those targets so you can reach towards them. Uh, it's not really about what specific foods to eat at night. It's really about what like what quantities of food what of what macronutrients do I have to eat for me to hit my goals so for example tonight I have a little bit of carbs I have about 40 ish grams of carbs I have I have a ton of fat so that's why you'll see here cheese you'll see butter and eggs and uh, I, I have just a little bit of protein so that's why all the protein on the table you see here is just two eggs so do you have to have casein protein before bed? Um, if you like, if you prefer casein protein, that's awesome. That's good for you. Uh, what food should you be eating at night? It doesn't really matter, guys. Uh, it's really in the big context of your entire diet for the day. Your, your day should have fruits. Your day should have vegetables. Your day should have fiber. Uh, your, your day should be 80 to 90% clean, unprocessed, or or uh, whole foods, 80 to 90 percent, and then the 10 to 20 percent, whatever you give yourself, whatever you decide for yourself, uh, that's where you get to play around a little bit. Um, so the point of eating at night is to basically top it off. Eat what you ha eat whatever you have to eat if there is any room for you left to eat. Have a goal, hit the goal. So tonight, let's make me a uh, a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, start out over here. Star grilled cheese sandwich. Let's actually cook some eggs. So, cook these eggs sunny side up, so that I can put them on my sandwich when the sandwich is, starts cooking. Okay, guys. While my eggs are cooking, okay, guys. While my eggs are cooking right over there, I'm gonna get my bread ready. All right. So let's do one piece of bread at a time. This is gonna be a grilled cheese sandwich. So we're gonna need butter. Um. What kind of butter? Basically butter that doesn't have trans fat. That's really my big deal. No trans fat. Other than that, I hit my freaking macros, okay? I'm doing one and a half servings. Why one and a half servings? Because I put all of the numbers into my phone, into my fitness pal. It equaled up into my macros, which are basically 65 grams of fat, 340 carbs, and uh, 225 grams of protein. This food right here, it adds up on top of what I ate previously in the day, combines up into those numbers. So I'm going to put on one and a half servings of butter onto this bread right now. Today I'm using something called Golden Soft Light. This is, a, I guess, a margarine that my family likes to buy. Um, specifically, I don't really care, but butter, margarine, whatever is in the house, I'll use it. I'm going to go check on my eggs now. Check these out. Put the top on so it cooks the whole egg and not just the bottom of the egg. I'm going to throw on a little bit of granulated onion on top of this egg right here. So it looks like my eggs are pretty much done. Now let's get onto the bread. So I'm going to put this pan over here, get a new pan, put it on the heat and let it heat up for a little bit. I pre-weighed out two servings of this four cheese uh, Mexican blend into this bowl right here. In case you're wondering what kind of bread I'm using, if you're wondering why I'm not using like a whole wheat, uh, nuts and grains kind of like organic bread and why, why I'm using, you know, this plain ass white bread. Really, no specific reason other than this hits my macros, this doesn't. It's as simple as that. If I had more protein to deal with today, I would have had this. It's as simple as that. The pan is getting hot, so let's put this bread on top. Boom. Boom. 
You want to do this on low heat for the bread, pretty low heat. Make sure it's flat. As you guys can see, I put the bread butter face down. What I'm going to do, and I'll keep this pretty low heat. I'm going to put the cheese on top of the bread, just like this. All right, guys. I'm not advocating that you have grilled cheese sandwiches before bed. What I'm advocating is you guys eat fruits, you guys eat vegetables. Uh, for, for men, you probably want 25, 35, 40 plus grams of fiber per day. For women, you probably want 25, 30, 35 plus grams of fiber per day. So, I don't believe there's an RDA for fiber, but I do believe the, uh, what is it, the Dietetics Association, they, they recommend like 25 grams and up, 25 to 35. Then you have people like, say, Lane Norton or whatever, they'll recommend 40 to 60 grams. My coach wants me hitting... Uh, 35 to 75 grams no more than 75 that, that's kinda too much so anyways I advocate flexibility and um, eating whatever it takes to hit your fiber your fruits your veggies eating mostly whole food mostly unprocessed but leaving yourself flexible for certain situations where you might have to eat out or where you want to practice a little bit of preference and choice. So cheese is on the frying pan right there. It's melting now. I'm going to let that make sure it's getting the bottom. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to brown the bottom. As soon as the bottom is browned, I'll put the egg inside of here, close it up. What's way more important than what you actually eat in a meal is what you eat in the entirety of the day. Your overall big picture daily nutrition is way more important than the nutrition of each meal by meal by meal. As long as things add up correctly and you're hitting your daily requirements of micronutrients, your goal of macronutrients, you're pretty much golden. And just put them into the, put them on top of one of the sides right there. Take the other end and place it on top. Oh, shit. There we go. Just like that. Give it a little bit more time on each side to brown a little bit further. Make sure all parts of that toast, or all parts of the bread is nice and cooked. Sweet fellas, Team Legends, it looks like my meal is finally done. So, I'll take my grilled cheese and egg sandwich off right here. Okay. If you guys are wondering the macros of this meal, I'll put it in the description box. Okay. I'll give you the fats, the carbs, the protein etc. This no meal should be considered muscle building or fat losing or me metabolically uh, better than other meals. It's all about how much micronutrients, macronutrients, you're hitting your goals every single day. Those goals need to be uh, customized for you and your body and your metabolic rate and all that good stuff. So it doesn't matter if you're eating casein protein, whey protein at night. I do recommend don't eat just before bed because you definitely want to give your food a little bit of time to digest, okay? So for me, I try to try to eat uh, at least an hour before bed. Uh, preferably two hours before bed is kind of like the cutoff for me. Uh, though there are those days where you do have to hit your macros before bed. And I think it's more important to hit your macros than to worry about, oh my gosh, it's late. So macros first, second, and last. Hit your micros, hit your freaking fiber, one or more fruits, one or more vegetables. Just so you guys know, today I had at least two servings of fruit. I had uh, green beans, I had tons of spinach, I had a apple, I had plenty of servings of berries. I had about two or three servings of berries, and I had over 50 grams of fiber, okay? Let me just double check how much fiber I had. For all you people that, you know, are skeptical about this sort of dieting, I had 52 grams of fiber today, 52, and uh, with the fruits and vegetables and my multivitamin, I covered all my micronutrients. There's nothing for me to worry about. I hit my macros, I'm solid. That's it, guys. Ho hopefully that seriously answers the question, what should I eat at night? Should I eat casein protein at night? Should I eat whey protein at night? And finally, the last thing for you guys to do is to enjoy. So let's try out this sandwich right here. Thanks for filming, Dad. Oh my, oh my gosh. 
Use a little bit of garlic, garlic salt, but oh, that is delicious. I'm gonna give a shout out to my dad, the cameraman. Thanks for filming. You got the the most steady hands in history. Yeah. Good night, Team Legends. Take care. Peace. Look at all that cheese, though. Damn. Instagramming a picture for you guys right now. With my dad in it. Okay. Thank you, Dad. I think we're good. Welcome. Thank you, Dad. Hey, quit me, little bitch! Oh, his cake!